Hi guys, Jim here and welcome to Six String Studies. Today we're looking at Black Knight by Deep Purple. This was released in 1970 and got to number two in the UK charts. It's a great example of Richie Blackmore's playing. You're going to love it. So if you find the video informative, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get to the lesson. So let's look at what's going on here. We basically are using two fingers. We're using the third finger and the first finger for the majority of this riff, okay? We're gonna start on the third, uh, so the third finger on the seventh fret here of the A string. We play the fifth fret of the D string with our first finger, back to that third fret there on the A string with our third finger. So we have... Now we're playing the fifth fret on the a string your third finger goes to the seventh fret on the e string back to that first finger on the a string fifth fret and back to the seventh fret of that string with the third finger so we have to complete that idea we're going to go to the fifth fret of the d string third fret of the a string now we're going to roll that third finger across to the seventh fret of the D string, back to the fifth uh, D, back to the seven A. So so far, now we play five seven on the A string. There's a gap there, and then we play. 5 on the D to 7 on the A. So, I'm going to play through it for you and I'm going to count it as we go. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, and 3. 4, and 1. 2, and 3, and 4. 1, and 2, 3, 4. 1, and 2, 3, 4. This is all swung. So we're basically doing... Um, a quaver rhythm or an eighth note rhythm, but it's swung. So if we went one, two, and three, four, and one, that sounds very strange, doesn't it? So we are going to put a, a swing to it. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. We do the same thing for the second repeat, for the repeat, sorry, but we're going to just start with a quick uh, five to seven hammer, kind of a, a grace note hammer. You don't really hear much of the five, but you can tell it's coming from somewhere. Other than that, it's identical. Three, four. Three, four. Which brings you into your verse. Now we're playing 5-7, and we're still doing this uh, eighth note swing feel. And we're going 1 and, and then for the rest of it we're playing the open E string. So we have 1 and, 2 and, 3 and, 4 and. We want to try and mute this E string, so let's do that. Do it again. you've played it six times. Okay, and I'm using alternate picking for the whole lot here. Yeah? Okay. That brings you through to your, well, the next section, kind of a, is it a pre-chorus? Don't know. But this is the next cool bit. So we have this. So we start on the seventh fret here of the A string, back to the fifth, seven on the E, back to the five A, so we go seven E again to five A. Now 
Now we're going to take our third finger and we're going to slide from seven up to nine. And you don't really want to hear much seven, so you get this. We don't want this. We want this. Straight there. Back to that seven with your first finger now. Back to the five on the same A string. So. Then we're going to go triplet like that. So we're going seven on the A on the A string, five on the A string, seven on the E string. But we're thinking triplet. So. Hit the 5 on the E string now, and then we're going to play its octave, which is the 7D, and then perform a trill between 5 and 7. So we have... Five to seven hammer on the A string. Play that five on the D. Now we're playing a G5 chord, which is your first finger on the E string third fret and your third finger on the A string fifth fret. And then just play that third fret. So we get. Play the octave now on that uh, D string fifth fret. And now we're playing that third fret of the D string. So let me put that together for you so far. Three to five hammer on the A string. And we finish on that third fret of the D. So. Okay. Then we're going to go into our first bit of lead here. We're going to, so we're, we just ended on a, that D string, third fret. We're going to take a big slide up from roughly four or five on the A string with the third finger and we're going to get to 14. Okay, so we get... Then our first finger plays 12 on the D string and then it rolls across to 12 G so we have... and we finish that by playing 14 on the D string so we have... 12 on the G, 14 G, 12 again on the G. So we have, and then we get our trusty whammy bar. We go quite wild with it. Okay, then we have this kind of Chuck Berry look coming up here. We're going to bend the 14th fret of the G. Play the full, uh, sorry, play the 12 B and roll to 12 E. So we have, we do that lick twice. So we have so far. Then we bend the 15 B, a full bend there. And then we play a double stop, which is the 12 B and the 12 E. More treble bar action. So we have. And to finish this idea off, we're going to play the fifth fret of the E string. Twice there. Seven on the D to five on the D. Now we're going to play. Use our second finger here, the sixth fret of the A string, and we're going to hammer to the seventh fret. So we have. And then we play the five on the D. We do the same action two frets down, 
third fret here. Play the octave on the fifth fret of the D. Third fret of the D. And we're going to do that four to five hammer on now on the A string. And back to that third D. So we have. And we finish the whole thing off by playing the second fret of the A string. And you're going to get your whammy bar and you're just going to depress the bar. You're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Then you're back to the main riff. So there you go, guys. Black Knight. What a great song. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a line in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover, any particular song in any genre, and we'll see what we can do. Until next time, bye-bye.